Hi everyone! If you are thinking of installing the public beta of macOS Tahoe 26, then stop. Well, I'm not telling you to stop the upgrading. That's a cool thing to do. But just stop for a moment and watch this video. Because I'm breaking down 10 essential things you should know before the upgrade. So you can avoid all of the headaches while installing it and afterwards as well. First up, what's actually new in macOS Tahoe? Quite a few things, starting with a big redesign. The new look with the liquid glass redesign is a big topic over the internet. Also, the AI-powered features might be smarter in macOS Tahoe, which I'm really looking forward because AI basically became my personal assistant and I'm using it for many things. But I have made separate videos about the AI tools on macOS and also about all of the new things which are coming to the newest release. So we don't need to waste so much time with it in this video. I recommend you to watch it after. Second thing you should check is the compatibility, because not every Mac is getting macOS Tahoe. Generally, all of the devices from 2020 should be fine to go. But to make it easier for you, I have created a whole PDF list with all of the compatible devices, which you can download for free. I'll link it in the description of this video. Question is also when you can install the new macOS upgrade. Well, the developer's beta is available already now, but unless you are enrolled in the Apple's developer's program, you will not be able to install it. However, the public beta is a different story because everybody can enroll in that and it's already knocking on the door. It is expected to be released in mid-July. Last year update to macOS Sequoia, the public beta was released exactly on the 15th of July. And this year it's rumored to be even earlier. But enough talking around and let's get to some actual tips what you should do before the installation. First thing is to get some extra storage, because the whole installer is quite large. The installer itself will be like 13 to 15 gigabytes. But to avoid any issues during the whole installation process, I would recommend to have at least 25 gigabytes of free storage. There are many ways how you can free up some storage on the Mac. I have made a lot of videos about this topic, which are quite well rated on the channel. And I'm already working on the new updated version, which will summarize all of the new things and new updates on it. So if you are not yet subscribed, I think this is the time to do it. But back to upgrading. From the various sources and my own experience, the whole installation process takes around an hour. But it all depends on your internet speed and also on your device. On the older Macs, it might take a little bit longer. And also, if you have slower internet, it will be downloading way longer. So don't make this in a rush, because you don't want to mess up anything during the installation process. That might lead to some serious issues. I'll be myself installing it soon after the public beta release, so I will take you through the whole installation process. But what you can do already right now is to make a backup. I'm not really a person who sits on backups everywhere, every time. I don't regularly connect my time machine and I'm not very proud about it. But before making such an upgrade and especially installing the beta software, you should definitely make a complete backup of your Mac. Betas can still be buggy and you really don't want to lose anything. It is unlikely to happen. Personally, I never had any big issues with any beta software from Apple. But still, it's better be safe than sorry afterwards. So now, are you ready to go? Then let's go to the Apple page. Here, you need to sign up for the Apple beta software program and enroll your device. That's all you need to do. And I will leave a link for the Apple Beta software program in the description below, so you can easily reach this website and all will be done in a second. If you are currently running the newest macOS Sequoia or the previous Sonoma, you can get the beta upgrades directly from the system settings. So if you open the system settings on the general tab, go to software updates and activate the beta updates. Once it's available, it will pop up here and you can install the new macOS Tahoe like any other regular update. But don't worry, if you commit to the upgrade and something doesn't work the right way, you can still go back 
especially if you have already made the full backup which I have mentioned before. Through that you can easily reinstall the previous macOS. But even without the backup you can still downgrade to the previous system using the Mac recovery. But that's a topic for another video. Now let's summarize it a bit. Yes, it is still a beta. So you might face some bugs, issues with the system. There might be apps crashing or have possible drainage of the battery. Also some third party applications might not work at all. But it's all just the beta version and it will be slowly fixed. Because of all of that, it's not recommended to install it on your main device. But honestly, how many of us have multiple new Macs to play with, so you can install it on one and have another one on the old system? Me included. So once we actually decide to do it, we need to go all in. So if you don't hear from me for a couple of months, it probably didn't work out very well. But don't be scared. I don't think it's so bad as many people are saying. And as I already mentioned in this video, I never had any big issues with installing any of these public betas from Apple. So do I really think you should install the beta? Well, it's up to you. I'm not recommending anyone to do that. But if you love testing these new features before everybody else and have some extra fun, even the fact that throughout these beta softwares, you might see some different changes, designs, which will not even make it to the final version. So it's quite nice experience for a little bit of risk. But if you want to be playing it safe, there is no shame in it. The official version of macOS Tahoe will be released somewhere in September. So that's not so far from now. And in the meantime, I will take you through all of the new changes and new things in the system. And also tell you my experiences from the installation and how the system is going. So if you are subscribed to the channel, you will surely not miss anything. So I believe I will see you in the next video.